you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Look who I have with me today. Hi. Say hi. hi. That's my friend Leah, my little French girlfriend. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. So today we are going to the Charleston Wine and Food Festival and this is at Riverfront Park. So you know the Charleston Wine and Food um, is going on all week but today this is a culinary village and so we're super excited to go taste all the food, taste all the wine. I'm still trying to figure out what it's all about so bear with me um, as we go and explore. So let's do it. <music> Yeah, you're welcome. All right, guys, so we're walking up and we are approaching the safety verification zone. So once we get through this, the line is like super long and we thought we were early. We got here, it starts at 11, we got here at 11. 15. Good morning. How are you? Charleston Wine and Food was formed in 2005 by a group of community loyalists, um, people who just wanted to get the Charleston food scene recognized, the amazing culinary experience that exists here in Charleston. And for 2022, it's titled 22 Together because the focus was on togetherness with all that happened due to COVID and being on lockdown. They wanted people to have that sense of getting back together and enjoying good food, good vibes, supporting the local community and just having a grand time. We're getting ready to turn up. <laughs> Let's, oh, there's a snack shack here. Why don't we get the short line and get a snack? Oh my gosh, over there. Okay, we gotta go to that really quick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. A day bed, we gotta get a photo. <laughs> Charleston Wine and Food allows you to walk around to all of the various food vendors, whether they're local or traveling in from out of state. We met people from Texas, New York, California, and the point is that we get to partake in all that they have to offer. So some of them had cook live cooking displays, some of them had prepared meals already, and then we were able to taste all of the various wine hard liquor or just mixed drink and as you can see I'm dancing because this particular food that I was having super delicious and that's probably one of the best pieces to me being able to taste all the good foods oh my gosh I love your outfit super cute Thanks. all right summer in a bottle this is so much fun oh my god Where? 
Oh, that outfit is so cute. Oh my gosh, excuse me, your lobster purse is so cute. Can I see it? That is so adorbs. Doing pork, which is kind of sacrilegious, to be honest with you. Okay? But, no, uh, this is great pork. So, uh, you got to maximize a few things. So, you had a great question. You ask questions, you get me. That's oh, really? Works. How many questions okay. can I ask? And how yeah, much exactly. Can I, get? I don't give a shit. You keep asking beef and pork questions. So, so gra is it count. is it like grass fed or like you there know? There you go. Okay. So, here we go. <laughs> I just, saw oh, your questions. Oh, oh. Let's go. Okay. So okay. grass fed beef is terrible. Yeah. And the reason why it's terrible is a scientific answer. Okay. Okay. You have to have. I eat too many carbs. That's why I have this. Okay. Grass is a fiber. Where's flavor come from? Marbling. Okay. So I have too much marbling. Okay. To make marble, you got to have carbs. Corn is a carb. Okay. Grain is a carb. Okay. You have to have the carbs. And then the carbs end up breaking down extra and you get more. When grass fed cattle don't have carbs, okay, in cold weather, they start to suffer because they don't have the carbs to make the energy that makes the heat. Gotcha. Okay? So what they'll do is it'll start burning off the excess fat inside them to survive. And by doing that, they're not marbled worth a bit. Right. So, and where we said marbling is your flavor. There you go. Thank you. You had a question? I'll share with she you. She took, you know, she took there my question. There you go. There you go. Mm. I've been to New York, New York, New Jersey. And that's really it. I know nothing for it. I was so really good. shocked. This regard is
Hey babe, do you want to try? What is it? The rum right there? It's bourbon. Yeah. Oh, sure. And you can see why they be so jealous. So guys, this is our Chase sponsored rooftop. They literally built this. It's so amazing. Hi. Who are you? Soka, everything. Oh, Dance nice. Soka. The line's too long. Yeah. So you're making barbecue corn. This will, yes. This will be the barbecue sauce. And these are all the spices. You so make this, those? Tracy she does. Spices. Gotcha. My company is Delicious Carolina. And your apron is so fire. I appreciate it. Those Chanel glasses ain't no joke either. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, you guys look amazing. Hi. I heard you make the spices. Yes, make the spices and the sauce that are in the corn that our wonderful chef has made for everybody. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Lilies of Charleston. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy oh, it. This is awesome. All right, guys. So I'm trying this Lilies of Charleston seasoning mixed with the chef. Is it Francis? No. Do Dewan. What was it? Murphy? There we go. Dewan Murphy. So we're having barbecue corn. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. The okra give it a nice kick. Right, exactly. So good guys. So good. mac and cheese so let's see how this is Louisiana crawfish mac and cheese what's her name Thank you. 
to the car. Thank you. Bye, guys. We did. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! This is what we're talking about. Charleston wine and food. It is. <laughs> We're getting a ride to our car, guys. This is like an amazing experience. Right? Perfect. Perfect. And you know, Leah had heels on, so <laughs> this. Yeah, we can go to where that police car is, and that's what, yeah. Yes, please. With the music. <laughs> <laughs>